Hello everyone, well, I decided to create a new channel, this time for my DGA Phantom footage. And look what came today, it's a DGA Phantom 2 Vision. I hope you can see it, I'm uh, currently using my GoPro in my hand because somebody stole my tripod. And let's... Uh, Look what was in a case. Uh, sorry for the table, it's a bit messy. It's my table for uh, RC models and um, basically hobby table. You can see I have uh, DJI Phantom first version. With, uh, let's have a look. There is a GoPro mount. There is no uh, gimbal. Uh, but there is a Fat Shark uh, FPV transmitter. Inside is a Futaba receiver, which I use with my Futaba transmitter T8J. Really good one. I got uh, five, uh, not five, 1.5 kilometer with the Fat Shark FPV. Uh, I'm limited by um, battery life on uh, the first uh, Phantom. You can see I have quite a lot of batteries. Uh, there are the original one and there are some bit better. 55C and the orig original one are, yeah, 20C here. So more C is better, like more Stripe, more Adidas. But let's look back to the Phantom uh, 2, DG, uh, DJI Phantom 2. Um, what was in a box? In a box was uh, this uh, fairly standard um, transmitter. It looks the same like the, like for uh, um, for the first Phantom, yeah, that Troy, uh, three step switch, one, another one, yeah, power. However, let's look on the other side. I still have the paper here. Oh, they will come off later. My version, uh, I mean, all versions, I think, have the battery, AA batteries here. Let's put it back. Yep. Seems like space for another um, buttons or something to control other channels. Yeah, I think it was the same on the first uh, radio. But there is this thing this small card which i missed a lot on the first phantom shows the error messages uh, shown by the indicator i think it's uh, this one here i was missing this i was always using uh, my phone to google it basically <laughs> i know i should print it out but whatever there is a clamp for iPhone. It go here somehow. Yeah, like this probably. <laughs> there are uh, propellers, and you have uh, four propellers for for normal use and four spares, which is pretty cool. And they are a bit bigger than the last ones. And they are, they are self-tightening. You basically, I think you don't need a wrench to tight, tighten them. Like uh, here, there is a nut. Here is basically nut. Here is nothing. The nut is integrated inside the propeller. You had, also there was some kind of strange looking wrench in the pre previous uh, phantom there was uh, for this one 
looks fairly similar but different design and function probably I don't need to check what is it for exactly I guess it's for holding the sh mot motor shaft let's look put this off take this off da. yeah I think it's go here now nah. I have no idea what is it for I'll check later there is also some uh, spare bolts kind of soft uh, soft material it go under on the legs you can see uh, it's not the same on the old phantom there is basically nothing I never never need it anyway let's have a look what else was there there were some spare um, shock absorbs yeah it's if you can see let's turn yeah there this one and of course uh, charger looks quite nice yeah the battery is different of course charger the old charger charger looks like this I almost never use it I'm using the bigger four button charger for all my batteries ah there is uh, this little thing it's a Wi-Fi extender it go here on a radio oh I almost forgot there is a screwdriver this time in a package I'm sure I didn't have it in a, for a first uh, Phantom however you can see this is a cross I hope you can see it. it's a cross uh, screwdriver and have, let's have a look on DJ Phantom back well I hope you can see it you can use the screwdriver only for this screw and then pretty much that's pretty much it maybe here yeah that's it all these other screws are different it's there are six sided um, I don't know the name of the screw type but it's definitely not using this uh, screwdriver you need something like this buy separately and find the correct correct uh, screwdriver well oops while we have a phantom on its back we can see the new camera it it will it come with a cover I haven't flied yet it's a uh, fresh out of the box there is a USB port it's not uh, hidden inside inside the phantom I really hope I you and we are back I really hope uh, you can see it with this camera it's right there there is a power connector fairly standard XT60 yeah let's come back to the Phantom 2 there is camera on a one axis gimbal let's see yeah here I heard it make noise like old modem and it's uh, quite normal I'll make uh, definitely in other videos testing both this Phantom and this one next to each other I'm really curious if I can fly them both at the same time because uh, new one is using 2.4 gigahertz for Wi-Fi 5.8 for um, radio however my old Phantom used 2.4 for radio so I'm really curi curious how it will cope with the interference 
also the uh, fetch track is uh, using 5.8 so you basically reverse completely the uh, frequencies it's kind of weird so <laughs> i'm really curious what it do when they are next to each other i hope there will be no crash <laughs> well we can expect some um, what else we have with the cables usb cable yeah uh, this looks like a us power adapter but we have basically adapter for every country i hope yeah here is mine <laughs> what else ah there is this black the future of possible future of possible sounds strange never mind english is not my main language let's open it up what's inside yep pink pink dga i don't know there's more color okay we have a pink one we're definitely not putting this one on yeah go 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 we have a blue one that's pretty nice yeah comparing to the red one yeah this one will be red this one will be blue and uh stand the red one i can use for the old phantom what else quick start guide yeah quick start guide which looks like in chinese yeah i'm not going to use that one phantom 2 vision list what the hell that is yeah it's a uh, list of parts okay makes sense yeah disclaimer huge list saying that you are not responsible for chopped fingers dead cats and so on yeah that's pretty much it let's look let's have a closer look on a phantom from a top We can take off the warning labels. Don't need, don't need it. I must say, the motors looks exactly the same. I don't know. From my point of view, they look the same. What's the difference is the um, propeller. Let's have a look at the battery. I have to put down the camera for now. I need to use both hands. So hang on. Okay, here we go. You can see Phantom 5200 milliampere hour battery and you can see also that it's completely sealed off inside you can't use another battery with uh, the phantom the same like you can use here hmm. so you might expect buying maybe another another one or two but you should get uh, 25 minutes of flight time so yeah um one or two one or two one or one or two of these will probably replace all of these <laughs> so let's they have connectors here yeah i hope you can see it did you go there let's put it back and there is a status indicator there is the information led and that's pretty much it standard uh, magnetic compass is here i think it's the same on uh, phantom one yeah looks exactly the same i really really hope that inside is a nasa 2 
Same like here. Actually, there is no DG. Ah, okay, that's a sticker. <laughs> I thought this is printed printed on DGI, but uh, yeah, it's a sticker. Um, I hope it's inside is a NASA, so I can use my Futaba receiver with well all my ah this is Futaba transmitter, Futaba receivers which I had here are somewhere else. Hmm. Never mind, I will dig it out from plane or something and try to stick it inside here. As I said, you can see it's a 2.4 gigahertz. I will have to probably take out this camera. Yep, because uh, you can't have uh, two source this one is a transmitter, and the transmitter is inside here. You can see antenna inside, do not cover. Yeah, it does mean this one is a transmitter. And you put two tra one transmitter here, one receiver here, with the same uh, basic range, 2.4 gigahertz. You fly a little bit further, this one, with will overcome this one and uh, the receiver will not receive correctly so this one will go out and let's see maybe we can use a shockproof mount and put the gopro instead most likely later in the next video i will have a look inside and uh, check if we can mount. Hmm. Maybe I. I think I will do some flying test first with the standard radio. Come here with this one and compare to the old DJI Phantom. And then we will have a look inside and see what we can improve. I'm thinking on fitting in a dragon link we have which which have i don't know 15 kilometers range with a 25 minute flight time the 15 kilometer range that's really cool <laughs> uh let's i hope uh, we can achieve that definitely I'll make video of my progress. So yes, this was kind of not unboxing, uh, kind of introduction of this for this channel. And yeah, both phantoms are here. Let's see if we, if we can fly them in formation and compare how long they stay in air. Okay, this was Vlado Portos. I hope you like this intro and uh, you could again see something because I'm holding this camera really small GoPro in my hand, really, really hoping. <laughs> okay, hope you like it. See ya.